your brother and father went to Iowa. You chose Wisconsin. Why is that? Um, well, I, I never was really interested in Iowa. I didn't want to follow in their footsteps. I wanted to create my own legacy, and I've always been a big fan of Wisconsin and the campus. So as soon as Coach Bobby offered me, it was a done deal. I was sold. Now you're recovering also from a torn Achilles tendon, correct? How, how is that going for you? Uh, it's actually going great. Recovery is going along really well. Um, I'm a lot farther than what I expected to be at this point. So I have high hopes of being able to play before the season's over. Not not coming out of red shirt, but just being able to practice and help out the team out. Now, when when you finally do get healthy, how how do you feel you can help the team? Um. Well, first of all, I have a lot of energy to bring to the team on the court wise defense. Um. Definitely helping DK run the point guard because I know that's hard for her being the only point guard. Um. Yeah, just energy is the most I can bring right now. So. What type of game are you bringing to Madison? What type of player are you? Uh, I'm transition, run the floor, fast break layup type of player, so I'll bring that too. Have you learned anything by sitting and observing um, so far this season? Oh, wow. That's like – I've learned so much. I don't even know how to explain all of it. Just being a freshman, being able to watch everything. Like my first year, you learned so much. It's I can't even explain all of it. Our halftime interview with Wisconsin's Royshell Marble, um, and it is Royshell. A lot of people say Rochelle. You had to correct me, but you go by Shelly, right? Yes. Yeah. Go by Shelly. Um, now, they were talking about this on the Big Ten Network game, and I've seen it before at practices, um, where at a practice the day before a game, um, you guys will have like a half-court contest or whatever, uh, and I don't know if this is, the, this is what exactly determines it, but the losing team has to do a dance, right? Losing team has to do a dance of the opposing team. So, for example, last time against Penn State, there were some players uh, acting like a lion. Yeah. Um, what do you guys do? What did you guys do for a Hoosier? Uh, well, we actually didn't do it this game because we are, were away and we didn't have a shoot around. Okay. So uh, usually we would do it. We just shoot around. It was like a shooting competition. Usually the freshman and sophomore versus the juniors and seniors. So freshman and sophomore usually lose. So yeah, last <laughs> game I was a lion. <laughs> you were a lion. Were you a good lion? Uh no. <laughs> Okay, so it's almost like you have to do like a little line dance. So who's the best? Forget about the maybe the, the, the Big Ten schools and the dancing. Who's the best dancer on the team? Um, I would have to say the best dancers are me and Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> who's the best singer? I know Tessa says she loves to sing, but she she's I, – I don't know if she's the best. Um, Tessa, for sure, she can sing. But Cassie – I don't know if Cassie's serious when she sings or not, <laughs> but I mean, she might be up there too. What's the best part of Madison so far that you found out? Um, I mean, I really just stay on campus for the most part. I've been off a couple of times, but just the campus in general, you don't really have to go anywhere. Everything goes. It's just right here on the campus. You don't have to leave unless you want to go shopping. Thanks for the time. Thank you.